Hi, today we are going to keep working on the logic gates. And the first logical gate that we are going to explore is the NAND. So the NAND gate operates as an AND gate followed by a NOT gate. So we have seen that the AND operator is like the double AND, like this, and we have to connect to it a toggle just to input, uh, just to give an input as one or zero. And then we want to compare that input to the other operands that also will 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 receive um, one or zero. So we're going to connect also another um, toggle and we are also going to trigger a bank and an integer like that. So let's connect the toggle here. And the first thing that we want to send is the integer itself here. And then after the object receives the input, it triggers also the other um, value stored in the object given by this other toggle. So um, the NAND operator uh, acts in the, mat in the manner of the logical operation and followed by negation. So the output is false if both inputs are true, otherwise the output is true. So we have an AND here and now we have to connect a, a NOT. So we have to say equal equal zero. So which means that if the input is equal to zero, so if we by comparing this, this value outputted by this uh, object if, and comparing the zero, if both are, are equal, so if the output is zero, the, uh, the output will be from here will be one, otherwise will be zero. And um, we have to just connect a toggle and maybe we can also um, connect the toggle here just to prove what's the output of this. So let's perform the end first. So one and zero is zero, one and one is one. But by negating this uh, output, will the, this, this object in fact will output the opposite um, value. So if it's one is zero, if it's zero is one, as you can see. So, and uh, yeah, here I will write um, the table. I will just copy and paste. So if both are true, the output will be false. So if both true, this is false, true and false, true. If this is false and this is true, same thing. If they are both false, it's true. Good. But also, um, we want to um, think about why we need to op use these logical gates. And the reason is that maybe in a, in a software application, we want to also check the status of two buttons. So, and it's a quite common practice to, you know, if I consider, I don't know, a synthesizer that has two buttons for, um, um, some section of the synthesizers, if both buttons are activated, um, maybe, it, you know, uh, this this output will turn off some, some other parameter um, or similar things. So that's why it's important to um, be aware at least of this um, of this way of checking status of buttons and operate through them using logic gates. So the other one, the other um, operators is the NOR. Um, and what we can do with the NOR is that um, it, it, it does exactly the opposite of the OR operator. So, and the OR operator um, as a true if either or both of the inputs are true and if both inputs are false then the output is false so um what what we mean with that is that um if both input are uh, true 
or true or false, the result will be false. If both inputs are false, the output will be uh, true. So to prove that, we have to create an OR uh, operator and basically copy and paste this block here. Connect it as we did for the end operator and then put a not operator. So we just you know invert the output. So as I said, this object here, the nor, I mean this gate nor will output um, false if it's both are true or true and false. So both true, true and false, false and true. But if both if are both false the output will be true. Now the other operator is the XOR and the XOR is like an exclusive OR and acts in the same way the logical either OR. Um, so the output is true if either but not both uh, of the inputs are true, the output is false if both inputs are false or if both inputs are true. So um, I will give you this table here for the XOR and what we have to do is basically copy this, this block here, create a new object inserting this let's connect this object here like that and let's connect a toggle. So, if both inputs are true, output will be false. If it's true and false, true. False and true, true. If are double false, both here and here, the output will be false. So that's the logical XOR. And the last one is the XNO. And we can think of it um, as like an exclusive NOR. So it gets a combination uh, XOR gate followed by, followed by an inverter. Its output is true if the inputs are the same and false if the input are different. I will copy the table of truth here and we have to also just copy and paste this, this block here and we have to use this operator which compare numbers for not equal to condition let's connect the object like that and now we have to basically compare if the output is one yeah, the, if the output of this object will be 1, the output, uh, the final result will be 1, otherwise it will be 0. So let's connect this to here, let's put also toggle here just to check the output. So, if both are true, the output will be false. If this is true and this is false, the output will be true. If this is false and this is true, the output will be true. If they are both false, the output will be false. In fact, we have zero. So that was it for today and I hope you enjoyed and see you next Monday. Bye.